For those who don't know, the transplant games are held every two years and pays homage to the wide circle of people who've donated and received organ transplants. Yeah, one mom we talked to donated an organ to save her child's life. As CBS 8's Regina Yurita reports, that mom would do it again in a heartbeat. With a ping pong paddle on one hand and a ping pong ball in the other, 13-year-old Tino Pepe from Spring Valley won second place in the ping pong transplant games competition. I, I never thought I'd be that good, but I won second place. Yeah. His smile lighting up the room as he received a medal. He and dozens of other participants share a similar story. Seeing him so energized, you would never imagine he once suffered from kidney failure. But the day he was born, Tino was immediately put on dialysis in order to survive. My mom donated, donated me a kidney. She donated a kidney? 11, 10 years ago? Tino was a bit bashful to share his kidney transplant trajectory with me. He was also just a baby during that time, so I decided to ask his donor, his mother. He started dialysis when he was three days old. Um, he was in the NICU uh, for three months until we were able to take him home. Um, and he continued on dialysis at home. So it was like 10 hours every night. Um, and we had to wait till he was a certain wait to be able to get a transplant. Yvette Pepe found out about her son's condition 19 weeks into her pregnancy. During an already scary time, Yvette tells me a doctor even suggested she'd get an abortion instead of looking into alternatives to save her son's life. That was not an option for us. After several exams to find out if she could be a match and donate her kidney to save her son's life, Yvette and her boy were given a rare gift that most transplant patients hope for finding a match. Recovery was awesome for him. Like he felt, of course, better than ever, which was what we wanted. And uh, for me, it was actually a little rough. <laughs> I tell everybody that I would do it again in a heartbeat. Fast forward to today, Tino has grown up to become a ping pong enthusiast and a soccer athlete. He also plays flag football and loves his Legos. I like to read. Um, I like to watch TV. Uh, I like to play with Legos. But most importantly, Tino is enjoying every day of his life with his loving family. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.